this is my the best of my recollection is that Donner finished the first unit first, and Stephen had two days left with the Fratellis and the kids. So as a joke, Donner had gone back to his house in Maui, in Maui, and Stephen sent all of us, the kids, and chaperones and Don uh, and, and 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 Dobby and Matuzak and Annie and me and our spouses and we all crashed at Donner's house they got Donner out of the house he went to buy a, an answering machine and when he came back our we'd taken they, they, they rented a big bus and we'd taken all of our luggage and we emptied our luggage out on there in, in Donner's living room and we had, you know, and, 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 and there is film. I don't know who has it, but there is film. You guys should get that film. I had it. I mean, Stephen gave everybody a copy, and it was hysterical, and we had a barbecue. And it was like supermarket suite. There was a guy named Mark who was Stephen's assistant that had a big bag of money. And Stephen was smart enough to, uh, to, to after, after we spent the day and evening with Dick, to send us on another li island. Because the kids were really, it became like the kids were really needy, and they were really, you know, were all over Donner all the time, vying for his attention. And Corey was always losing stuff. He was he was crying out for help even back then. God bless him. I love that kid, and I'm glad that he's got his act together. But you know, he lost his shoe. He was, you know, you know, I lost my shoe. Okay, I have to buy him a pair of shoes. Uh, but it was great. It was one of the great vacations. It was one of the great gifts. I mean, Spielberg was very generous, and we went off to different islands. And if I wanted to go scuba diving, the guy would give me money. If I wanted to go to dinner, the guy would give me money. And it was it was great. It was a great job. Um, I remember we there was a Super Bowl Sunday, and we were in a store. No, we were in Bodega Bay. Bodega Bay in this really new hotel, and they 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 uh, rented uh, the. Um, con convention conference hall thing and they put these big flat screens and we watched the Super Bowl and, and, and Matuzak was in a crisp white shirt really starched and during the halftime he went outside and I was I have a picture I have a bunch of pictures too I, I should we should talk to Sarah about how I can get some of these pictures that I've collected but uh, I was like this I mean he was so it was enormous. The guy was six, 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 seven, and five feet wide. And uh, I said, Tuz, what's up, man? You all right?" And he goes, "Joey, this is hard. You know, to watch that football game was really hard on him because he was a warrior. You know, he liked to kill people, and the uh, football was his salvation. And and I think that it was one of the things that destroyed him in the end was the fact that he his body wasn't strong enough." Uh, and he and you know he just he was just wounded from all the years of, of football and fighting and he was a real warrior. That you might want to Dick change. Donner is the is Dick Donner is the most fun filmmaker I ever worked with. He had he he was smart. He loved to laugh. When you make it a comedy, he's the guy that you should be directed by because if he's laughing, you know you're funny. And he has this bellowing voice. It'd be great, you know. And he yells at you in bet during the take. He's got such style, and he knows where he's going to cut, so he can actually yell at you. And I think the things that I remember about Dick were like, you know, you know, it's only a two-hour movie. Cut, cut twenty minutes out of it. You know, like the, the if the scene was going on too long, you know, faster. Jesus Christ, will you hurry up? And. Uh, I mean, he would have made a great baritone. He he he, uh, he could give you know Pavarotti a run for his money. Um, you know, it's like when when these things are happening to you, you just you don't almost you you kind of almost take it for granted. You you have no idea because you're just making a movie and you're happy to be there. And you, you know, I I remember that I was somewhat awestruck. I remember Key and his mom and. In the, back in those days, they had these little square boxes that they gave all, all of the actors. It was like our dressing rooms, and they rolled them around on the Warner Brothers lot. 
and Key had a bunch of brothers and sisters, and his mom had a walk, and she would make these great, you know, Vietnam Vietnamese food that we would all eat. She would feed half the crew. Um, the infamous uh, day when Michael Jackson came to the Goonie set to visit everybody. Boy, oh boy, was that a mistake. And, uh, you know, when Cindy Lauper did the, 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 the infamous uh, video for the movie. But it was great. It was, I mean, it was great. It was, it was great. The whole thing with the, you know, me pulling off my wig, you know, the bats, you know, that came out of Davi saying that I was bald. And, you know, and Davi and I, the stuff that we did to each other and he nailed my dressing room door shut and we, I couldn't get out. I was locked in my dressing room. I, I, you know, we stole his license plate. He did, he'd done a movie called City Heat and we stole his license plate off his car. We kept, you know, he, Steven's parking spot on the stage, it was like Steven, Joey Pants next to Steven and Robert Dobby next to Steven. So it was like we, it was like, you know, we were next to Steven Spielberg's parking, parking spot. And, uh, we we took we we painted off we painted over Davi's name you know we would just the stuff that we would do to him, and then both Stephen and Dick would would go like, oh that's great we got to put that in the movie we put that in the movie, so they basically put our hatred in the movie, and it became this sibling rivalry that happened was totally not scripted it was just totally put in there. And you of course were Mama's favorite that we found out from the movie. Uh, yeah, I was Mama's favorite. I wonder if I was Annie's favorite. I think I was Annie's favorite in some ways. I mean, she actually sponsored, when we did that movie, she was my sponsor to join the Academy. And to join the Academy, you have to have two members of the Academy. And, and Sean, Sean's mom, Patty Duke, came to visit the set one day. And uh, I introduced myself and asked her to sign my thing, and she did. She did. And that's how I got in. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hello? Yeah. Hello, Bernie. I'm in the middle of an interview. Let me call you right back.